a state of emergency has been issued after an EF3 tornado moved through the area on Sunday and damaged dozens of homes, businesses, downed trees, and caused gas leaks, power outages. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you when you're watching this video. Thank you for tuning in to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. I'm a little behind on videos. I've been feeling a little under the weather. I don't know what's been going on, but I'm back. I'm here. I'm not 100%, but I am here to bring you news that you can use. First of all, prayers out to those families affected in this area. So I don't want to keep you long. I just want to let you know what is actually happening. And I also want to talk about, you know, we do stockpile for emergencies. But what if that emergency is the fact that your home is destroyed or flooded? What do you do? How do you protect your preps? Stay tuned and we'll talk about that as well. So the city of Virginia declared a state of emergency after an EF3 tornado moved through the area Sunday and damaged dozens of homes, downed trees, and caused gas leaks. Of course, power outages also happened. There were no immediate reports of injuries and authorities said on Monday that they did not need to rescue anyone beneath the rubble of collapsed structures. However, they noted that rescue attempts were made amid the severe weather. City officials said it is unclear how many homes have been damaged, but they estimate between 50 to 100 after the tornado touched down after 6 p.m. The city manager in Virginia Beach said hundreds of homes were likely impacted during a news conference on they also say that they've had tremendous response from first responders. Shout out to them. That is a lot of hard work, putting your life on the line. My husband used to be a firefighter when he got out of the military. So yeah, I understand. And also a lot of other city employees. We don't have all the answers right now. We're working to get a whole host of information regarding to what the extent of the damage was. But we do know there's been hundreds of homes that likely have been impacted. Meteorologists have classified the twister as an EF tornado. The National Weather Service did confirm that. The rating which falls in the middle of the enhanced EF scale that ranks tornadoes between 0 and 5 means a tornado is severe with estimated wind speeds between 136 and 165 miles per hour. In my opinion, this is just my opinion, not reading from this article, we need to address the whole cloud seeding situation because they have the ability to send these rods up into the clouds to enhance, create more rain or drought. They are creating super storms. That is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments. But China has been doing this and the U.S. is also doing this. Those lines you see in the sky are not just from jets. So back to the article, they say that damage assessment teams continue to survey the area on Monday as officials work to come up with a more concrete evaluation. Public safety personnel have so far searched 115 damaged structures, according to the emergency management representative who suggested that the area will remain under the state of emergency declaration for quite some time. So what exactly does that mean? Quite some time under that state of emergency. I do know and remember from when we had that 100 year flood in South Carolina. We were under a state of emergency for a long period of time because roads were washed away. Um, water was not functioning, working. Treatment facilities were down. Power was out, which means food is spoiling as I speak in grocery stores and in homes. People are forced to, if they don't have power, maybe cook outside. These are all things 
we need to prepare for because we don't know what that emergency is going to be. When you're stockpiling your food, we need to take into account what would happen if there is an abundance of water or abundance of wind that destroys our home. Businesses are closed right now. They say three local schools remain closed on Monday as the supermarkets cited transportation challenges in impacted areas. So if you haven't been stocking up and you do have your home was not destroyed, you still don't have food to feed your family. And the food that you do have is limited because of the fact that you don't have power. So it says that based on the debris signature on radar, damage reports, the videos of the storm, we can confirm that there was a tornado. The National Weather Service in Wakefield, Virginia said in a tweet, much of the damage had been reported in the area on River Road and North Great Neck Road. It also includes Upper Chelsea Reach and Haversham Close. Virginia Natural Gas responded to several homes with gas leaks and Dominion Energy was reporting just under a thousand outages early Monday. Three schools were closed on Monday due to damage from the storm. As a result of the severe weather, the Something in the Water Festival in Virginia Beach announced all events for Sunday. The third day of the festival was canceled. No one wants to make this call, but we cannot predict or negotiate with the weather tonight is what they said in this report. It is our responsibility to ensure public safety above all else. And that is the thing. We also need to start ensuring our own safety and not relying on the state to do that for us because they're going to be limited in how much they are able to provide. The severe weather in Virginia Beach came after the thunderstorms. Large hail and at least one confirmed tornado hit Florida on Saturday. Again, we need to take into account any type of emergency. No, we probably cannot prepare for each and everything. One, we people don't have money like that. I know I don't, but I prepare for as much as I possibly can. We need to be able to have large enough Ziploc bags or something that we can put our items in, even if it's a container with a uh, lid that's airtight that will keep things from getting in in order to protect our foods. Having shelf-stable food will be most important during times like this because you don't have refrigeration, especially if you don't have backup power. That is another thing we need to take into consideration. How can you get backup power if your power goes out? Keeping some of your shelf-stable food in airtight containers as well as your uh, shelf-stable food in airtight containers, those things will help. If you get a rush of water into your home, those things will typically float if you have them sealed in a container like a five gallon bucket, et cetera. But just stockpiling and not preparing for the possibility of water is not realistic, especially if they are cloud seeding. And I know some people are going to say that's conspiracy theory. Say what you want. They are doing this. This this has been documented that they are doing this. That means they can control how severe a storm is if it even rains in a certain area, if it doesn't rain in a certain area. They want to control the situation. My prayers go out to everyone involved because no one knows who's going to be hit next. So we have to prepare the best we can. We have to take control of our own homes and situation that take place because in these emergencies like this, depending and waiting on the state to come in, yes, they'll come in, but they have limited amounts of food and water um, and clothing if you need it for you to have for your family. I remember not being prepared during the 100-year flood. Yes, we had some food in our home, but we were without power for a week or two. And not having enough water in the home also, we had to go to the fire department where they were handing out um, water bottles. That still was not enough. Even though they gave us two um, 40 cases, that wasn't enough. You got to think. 
you're drinking, you're cooking, you're washing your body, you're washing whatever. You're doing a lot with water. So take those old containers that you have, those milk jugs or juice jugs and things like that and wash them out, put water in them and store them away as your gray water. So you can use those things for anything other than um, cooking with. So I hope this video was helpful, useful to you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up, share it out um, so more people know what they can do to better their families in the event of an emergency like this. And also um, subscribe to the channel if you have not. I'm sorry, I have a little brain fog right now. I don't know, maybe it might be my fibromyalgia. I'm not sure, but y'all take care, stay safe. I love you. But God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy's Carolina Homestead. I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever Don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up